Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and welcome to my channel, my viewers and subscribers here in America and around the world. And today's topic is going to be uh, your battery health. Uh, your electric car battery is a very big component uh, of the car. Beside, of course, the car shell itself and everything else, there are three main components in an electric car, the battery, the uh, electric motor or motors and the inverter and the battery is a very big part and it's very important like it's your it's your uh, fuel basically it's your electric fuel that makes you go from one place to other it's very important to keep it healthy and i'm going to give you some um, some suggestions uh of what you should do uh really you should do this religiously to keep your battery as long as long as possible and if you do it chances are that your battery will, will serve you a long time. Now, as of now, as of now, uh, September 2018, still, uh, <coughs> excuse me, electric, electric car batteries are a, an expensive component. They are an expensive component. Uh, a Tesla uh, Model S uh, battery uh, today runs between fifteen dollars to $20,000. So it's like, it's like almost a car. Uh, and even though uh, electric car companies give you very good warranties, and I'm going to go over it in a minute, very good warranties, still, uh, the warranty is not going to replace your battery if you lost 1%. The warranty is going to replace your battery if you lost a significant amount of capacity in a very short time, which means the battery was defective to begin with. So you may have warranty, but if you're not going to do, if you're not going to take the necessary step to protect your battery, uh, you are just going to have less capacity and it's not going to be warranted uh, to be replaced under warranty. Instead, so it's very important that you do certain steps, whether you lease your car or you uh, um, uh, own your car. It's very important. Now, here's, here's the few things that you can do. Number one is it's important if all possible, especially if you have a long range a car like uh, the 2018 Nissan Leaf or the uh, Chevy Bolt EV or all of the Teslas or mm, all of them no matter who, which one it's very important if you can help it not to charge it to a hundred percent on a daily basis 80% uh, is very very good 90% if you need it but try to not uh, 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 um, uh, charge your car to 100% on a consistent basis. I just replaced my uh, laptop battery after two and a half years because I did I did exactly that. I did exactly that. Uh, it, it, it kills the battery and then it, it, it loses all its capacity. So if you can help it on a daily basis, do not uh, charge your battery to 100%. That's how now some cars some batteries are designed not to be charged to 100% even if you do because they have a buffer what what we say but if you can help it on your own uh, try not to 80% 85 90% is is good 80% is the best it's just give the car uh, give the battery a long uh, life and long health so that's number one number two is try to avoid as much as possible as much as possible uh, rapid charge, rapid charging, fast charging, DC charging, supercharging, and all that. Now, if you're on a long trip and you have to get from, uh, you are, you are going to a 500, uh, 700, 1000 mile trip, of course you have to do that, you have to do that, if that's what you do. But if, let's say you live next to a uh, rapid charger, not too far from us, I live, there's a fast charger, uh, maybe 15 minutes from my house, and I, charged my Nissan Leaf there twice in, in three years. The first time was just for to see how it works, for the novelty. The second time is because I actually needed it. I didn't charge, I went to my friend's house, it was a snow day, it doesn't matter, I needed it. I gave it a 10 minutes charge, I got 25 miles, whatever, gone, goodbye. If you can help, if, and I know people who live next to superchargers and they go once a week, twice a week, they go and charge. That's not good because, which leads me to, the, to, to number three, to the number three uh, issue is excessive heat because the rapid charger, this, the supercharger or the Chatmo or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you have uh, lots of current going into your battery, heats the car. So you should avoid heating, overheating the car 
by giving it a jolt of electricity on a regular basis. So overheating the car, just like a gasoline car, there's no difference. There's no difference between this and that. It's all the same idea. Overheating uh, is very, very uh, uh, dangerous for the health of the car, the health of the battery, and, and all that. It can prevent, it can cause tremendous uh, damage. So um, uh, charging to 100%, uh, fast charging, rapid charging, supercharging, and overheating the car is very important. I'll give you another bonus. That is a hard to do. It's very hard to do, but it's possible to do it if you just uh, program your car and it's possible to do it and that is and that is um, not to charge your car uh, let's say in the summertime when it's really hot you just got home it's in, in evening time you're gonna plug it and forget about it till the morning it's good to let it cool off now you're not gonna go home and after an hour you're gonna go out to the garage and charge because you're gonna forget but what you can do is to plug it in on my app you can on, on most of the uh, mobile apps you can do it that it start charging at 2 a.m. at uh, midnight or whatever so give your car a few hours if you if you don't if this is if you're done for the day if you out for the night done you're going to sleep you're going home that's it if you can do that let it charge after it cools off is very 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 important it's very good i do it on my car i have a program i don't think about it it starts in the morning for me it charges whenever i want and that is a very very important now let's go back to warranties because that you say ah oh, whatever what the heck i have warranty what do i care let's just go over them uh nissan leaf right now i believe has six years a uh, hundred thousand uh bolt volt i know they have seven years a hundred thousand uh tesla has eight years one hundred and twenty thousand. that's a lot of miles granted it's a lot of miles but again my nissan leaf right now only if i lose uh four bars then they would and if i lose three bars I lost uh, maybe 25% of my, my capacity. My car is not going to go, I don't know, 60 miles, 55 miles. That's not, that's not going to make it to replace it. They are very specific about it. It has to really lose a lot for it to be say, okay, we have to replace, this, replace it under warranty. So you don't want to, my point is you don't want to uh, drive around with a compromised capacity, with a compromised battery that is not is not um, uh, uh, deserve, I mean, legally uh, 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 eligible to be replaced by warranty. That's my point. So you don't want to do that. That's stupid, especially if you're on your car. Then the other, th the other things, the other server line, the, the, the good news is going th that as time goes by, that's not good news now, but it's going to be good news as time goes, goes by, year, two, three, that battery prices are going to go down. Okay, Nissan Leaf battery now, I believe, from what I saw, I did some research yesterday, five to six thousand dollars. I found one for five fifty five hundred. Now, let's say my Nissan Leaf right now, let's say in three years, let's keep today's prices. My car will be six years old, and let's say my battery is shot, and I, I would put five thousand battery. It's like you know, it's like uh, you put the battery in, you have a car for another six years. That's not bad. But I think the prices are going to go, and then the refurbishing, refurbish batteries are going to be there. So down the line, even Tesla batteries will go down in price significantly, but not as of now, and not if you can help it. If you can help it, this is not, even if it's two grand, you don't want to chuck two grand on something. If you just can do certain simple things and to uh, keep your battery health healthy. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. And support this channel by becoming a patron or shop on the Electric Israeli store. See you tomorrow with another episode.